Is it plausible that an interrupted Windows update can cause the motherboard to fail? When I turn on my Windows 10 desktop, a Dell XPS 8920 desktop, and after the latest Windows update I get a black screen. There is no splash logo or anything, the screen is completely black at all times. When powered on the computer starts up, then I can hear after 17 seconds, I timed it, that it reboots, and the process repeats endlessly. I've discovered that I can get into the BIOS screen if I press F12 as the computer's restarting. I can't see that I'm in BIOS because the screen stays black but it seems clear to me that I am, because I get predictable outcomes by pressing certain keys, for example if I press F10 to save and exit the BIOS, I can hear the computer make a restarting noise. However, restoring the BIOS to factory defaults doesn't fix anything. After I called out a repairman in relation to the problem, the repairman has suggested to me that the problem was caused by a power outage during a Windows update, which has then corrupted the motherboard, and that the solution is therefore to replace the motherboard. The motherboard is being replaced at no charge to me as the machine is under warranty, so the claim isn't a self-interested one. But still I wonder if this is plausible. The power outage was caused by a tradesman turning off the power at the mains when the computer was being updated. I am also using a surge protected power board so I doubt that a power surge is the issue. I also have now seen that the computer's fails a post test even with the coup replaced, and it also did not beep when the CMOS battery was removed and put back in place. Update, after the motherboard was replaced the screen started working, although now the system does not seem to recognize Windows anymore. The current plan is that I'll be given a replacement SSD, as with all the service and parts so far, I'm not being charged for this, and instructed just to install Windows again. The answers given by others are, I think, wrong. Although somewhat unlikely this is possible, Manufacturers can indeed get Windows to update firmware and UEFI during a Windows update, and if this process is interrupted you could indeed hose a motherboard. See this URL to read it from the horse's mouth. The most common way of updating motherboard firmware is known as UEFI capsule. This method is supported by Windows Update, FOP and many manufacturer applications. UEFI Capsule Firmware Updates work by copying the new version of the firmware into a specified location on the EFI partition. Applying this update is not immediate, as UEFI becomes read-only when control is handed over to an OS. Instead, upon each boot UEFI verifies if there is an update capsule in the specified location, validates its signature which would have prevented the update from being applied if the file was corrupt and applies the update. Based on the UFI specification, corrupting the motherboard firmware from a running OS shouldn't be possible. However, if your motherboard is old enough to use BIOS instead, it might be possible. I would say no, that a Windows update will not break a motherboard. However if you had a power outage, not entirely clear, then the surge from a power failure could indeed damage the motherboard. I think that it was doing Windows update was incidental to the damage caused by power failure. I'm adding this as a supplement to the other answers because I feel it addresses an issue not touched on. In general, as mentioned in previous answers and comments, a Windows update should not trash hardware. In most cases, and in my own experience, a hardware failure will be the cause of an update failure, not vice versa. I would not have any confidence in a technician that would throw hardware at a software problem. Since the original poster does not provide any geographical identification, I would first suggest that they research a power conditioner, not surge protectors, 
appropriate to their region. I live in the American South. My local power utility provides what can be best described as dirty power. My own electronics, TV, stereo amplifier, DVD and CD players, two computers, wireless routers had all been routinely trashed until I spent over $300 in power conditioners to which my electronics are now connected. This is only about 10% of the cost of the equipment which I have had to replace. All equipment that relies upon microelectronics is susceptible to damage from fluctuations in voltage and current. Start there. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.